Hello, ladies and gentlemen. To Welcome back to American Truck Simulator, first of all. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've had a video up of this game. Today, we're going to take some fireworks from Kingman to Page. Oh, can we change the trailer? Uh, let's go with the, l the shorter trailer, because I think that might be a bit more maneuverable. Uh, 10,000 pounds. Does it change the weight of fireworks, or is it just... Oh, it does! We'll take 13,500 pounds in the longer trailer. Uh, let's get the truck running. Where's our trailer? Right down at the end. Get this thing into first gear, and away we go. We'll just cruise around here in second gear. There's no real need for me to, uh, to push it, because we're just going over here. Once we get the trailer attached, uh, I'll worry about speeding things up a bit. <clears throat> okay, so we're stopped. Totally meant to nudge the uh, wall and fence there. Uh, let's see if we can't get in under this trailer very nicely. Come on. Come on. There we go, first time. First time every time. First gear, raise the trailer legs. Now, for those of you who haven't seen American Truck uh, Simulator on the channel before, I am driving a Kenworth T680 in hot pink. The hottest of hot pinks, because I like pink. And uh, pink is, of course, the manliest colour for a truck. We're actually good to just drive straight out here. There we go. And I will be obeying all of the speed limits. I'm going to switch into this lane here just for ease. We'll be obeying the speed limits, so we are starting off... What? I think we're in Nevada or Arizona, which means we'll get a good limit. Uh, we're going to be in the... It's a one-state trip, so it's Arizona. Yeah, we're in Arizona this entire trip, which means... What is the speed limit for Arizona? Is it 75? is going to be our maximum speed that we'll be hitting, hopefully. Let's take a bit of a drink. So 65 on the on-ramp. We won't be hitting that kind of speed. Uh, we do have this truck pretty much maxed out for everything. Right now, and I got my... Uh, head tracking on. I'll just pull in here behind this guy. Switch into seven high. And eighth low. I'm gonna try and keep it under uh, 1500 to 2000 RPM. Keep it in that kind of Low revs for maximum fuel efficiency. Kind of range. Uh, it is 4.47 p.m. so we'll just run our day running lights. We won't even need them actually, we can just... Just run with no lights on whatsoever. We do have quite a lot of money because this is a, an old save from when I did ATS multiplayer, which I will not be returning to before anybody asks, uh, for one very simple reason, and that reason is pilot cars. Uh, the pilot cars really put me off multiplayer on ATS, I'm afraid, because they just... Uh, they're infuriating. People don't know how to drive them. Uh, it's a real shame as well, because that, you know, driving a big convoy around could be really fun, uh, but people just don't drive in a realistic manner on multiplayer, and it's a shame. Uh, if they did, I'd have absolutely zero problems playing it. So I do have my Brody knob on my wheel today. Uh, not in the game, but in real life. Got my SCI pink wheel engaged. Because, of course I do. Just trying to keep the truck in between the lines here, and it's 
Uh, at 75 miles an hour, it's not exactly easy. We are coming into the evening, so let's get our running lights on. We won't turn on our headlights just yet. These guys are running quite slow. Is that a school bus? That is, in fact, a school bus ahead of us. That we're about to overtake, heading up towards Holbrook. I am being a bit cautious with my turning, because... John, let's take a, a screenshot with the school bus. Let's take a nice photo in the photo studio, photo mode, with the school bus beside us. Uh, let's tilt the camera a bit, because I like... Eh, let's tilt it this way for once. Get our FOV nice and tight, because then it looks nice. Propane-powered school bus. Okay, that's not dangerous. And we'll just change our depth of field slightly so that the truck looks nice. And turn down the blur slightly. Turn down the saturation a bit. There we go. And we'll capture the screenshot like that. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, they've disabled the throttle with the, with, um, cruise control now in the latest patch, which is very nice. Because that was always a bit of a, an irritation for me that I'd leave my foot on the throttle and cruise control would never engage. So you have it set at 75 miles per hour. We are cruising along nicely, I almost sideswept that car. Uh, that is not a good combination there, fireworks passing something flammable. We are really hauling towards Flagstaff at the moment. We're, ooh, just after wiping somebody out. Uh. Let's, uh. Yeah, let's, let's get our speed down a bit, because we do need to... Okay. Hey, it'll start. There we go. Turning right here, which means if the lights are still red and we get to them, we can turn. They're effectively a stop light or stop sign for us. We probably shouldn't be stopped right where we are right now. This is the worst place to be stopped. Because if a train comes now, we are screwed. Let's get turned. Come on. I'm just glad to be off that level crossing, to be honest. Oh, we're at a speed limit of 25, not 30. Whoops. Riding the curb a bit, because I'm an idiot. And away we go again. Let's actually switch into 6th high. Let's use all the gears we have. I'm not going to rev too highly because it does affect fuel economy. Uh, the minimum I've got is 4 miles to the gallon. That's going kind of racing style, where I just rev the engine as high as it'll go, and hope for the best. There we go, cruise control set at 66, no I want 65. There we go, 65 miles an hour. Because we're on a 
a highway as opposed to a freeway. Or a single carriageway as it may be called in some countries like Ireland. This is actually <laughs> the scenery here is beautiful. It, all, it never fails to take my breath away the scenery in ATS. Uh, how are we doing for fuel and sleep? We're good for fuel and sleep. We could do the, a minor repair, but I'm going to hold off on that for a while. Um, I just realized I've had the GPS module thingy open this entire time. Why are people slowing down ahead of me? Engine malfunction. That's something that shouldn't have happened. And now we're kind of stuck on the outside of this line of traffic. That should be 65. Yes, we are limited at 65. There is a car coming from the other direction. Pull in, pull in, pull in. There we go. I didn't realize engine malfunctions were a thing. Come on, get out of the way. We're heading towards page now at uh, quite a clip. Let's just zoom out the uh, onboard GPS module a bit. Where are we going in page? We're going dead center of page. That's quite nice. Uh, why is traffic up here very slow? Why am I catching up to this line of traffic? Is there, is there a tractor in this line of traffic? Well, if you're not gonna move, I'm gonna move you. Speed limit of 55. We'll go 53. Wrong way offense. I'm overtaking people, leave me be. I must have overtaken a cop car there. So, speed limit of 25, means we need 5th high, and we're limited to 24 now, good. Where exactly are we going? I'm going to go with this view in the GPS module. Uh, good for everything, water temperature looks a bit high actually. Ah, we're going to Walmart. Alright, let's swap over to driving with the Brody knob, because that's going to be easier for me. Going fourth high. And just kind of crawl it around until we find where we're parking, because I do have advanced parking forced on. Which means we could get an atrocious spot in here. Uh, or we can get a really nice one. Sometimes it just it does actually give really nice parking spots. Although it does look like we're gonna have to blindside park this thing, which uh, I'd prefer not to have to do. If I can get do those 180 with this, yeah, ooh, yeah, I'm go I'm gonna have to do a 180, and it's still gonna effectively be blindsiding. Uh, is it? No, it's... No, that's good. Let's get it out of high range. This is not a good space to be parking in at all. So this could take a few attempts. Or I could get it in one. I'm not entirely sure what... Yeah, this is blindsiding quite badly. Uh, need to turn it more. I've hit something. I can't see what I've hit, even. Um, can I see the rear of the trailer? Okay, so I didn't give it enough space there. Let's try and get it over to the right. We're no longer blindsiding at least, which is nice. Uh, blindsiding, by the way, is when you're 
trailer is off to the the right in this case and you can't look out the window to see where it's going okay so I gotta just pull it really tight oh ooh, that's gonna clip the wing mirror nope So blindsiding is when you can't just look out the window to see what you're doing. Um, and it's not ideal. I really dislike blindside parking. Uh, because it is basically an advanced maneuver and I'm not an advanced driver. In reality, I don't have a driving license for even a car, never mind a 30, 40, 50 ton truck. This is just going to require me to straighten it up by the looks of it. Uh, which means I need to turn this snoop this way and just idle it backwards. No real need for me to go at high speed. This should be good enough for them. They usually accept it if it's mostly within the lines. There we go. Turn off the truck and hit T. So that's our cargo of fireworks delivered, and mostly one piece. Oh, uh, entirely in one piece. So we get seven thousand dollars and four hundred and five experience, and we've also made it to level twenty-three. Let's get. I uh, don't really want fragile cargo. I'll get just in time delivery, because this is gonna give us bonuses for delivering things, and that's gonna do it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new here, hit subscribe. It means a lot to me to see new faces around. That's quite a lot of beer and or wine. Quite a lot of beer and or wine. A few Coke crates, some fruit boxes. I know they're fruit boxes because they're clearly labeled fruit. Um, but I've been Rainbow Davey. You've been watching American Truck Simulator. Until next time, stay safe and goodbye.